guys welcome to jj chem master class guys in today's video we are going to learn about multi and fab ionization methods under mass spectroscopy these are the soft ionization method and uh, one of the most frequently asked question for msc chemistry students so you should go ahead with this video till end so we will be seeing here question of one of the msc chemistry explain maldi and fab methods of ionization there are different questions they may ask maldi separately and fab fab uh, separately and uh, may ask you the advantages and disadvantages of these techniques so we'll see first maldi the full form is matrix assisted laser desorption ionization method basically both methods are desorption ionization so we'll first consider the key points of this technique for ionization so basically this ionization method is used in mass spectroscopy and it analyzes large and non volatile molecules so if you have non volatile molecule then only you can go ahead for maldi and fab techniques for volatile uh, molecules the techniques are non suitable so what happens in this method in this method the sample which is going to be analyzed will be, will be dissolved or dispersed in a matrix and then it will be placed in the high intensity of photons when we are talking about a maldi it is going to use the high intensity photons here and you should have a matrix where you are going to dissolve the analyze uh, analyte into it so what happens here the collision of these photons with the sample will ionize the sample molecules and it will eject from the surface and then finally the ejected ions will accelerate it towards the mass analyzer and it will be analyzed so these are the steps and the conditions for the molecule to be analyzed by or ionized by maldi and you can see the diagram here so you have a sample plate in which you have matrix in where the analyte uh, is uh, dissolved or dispersed into the matrix and once uh, the laser beam the high intensity photon is bombarded on the analyte then the analyte is ionized with the high intensity beam and it is now ionized in the form of you can see cations here and it will travel towards the mass analyzer and it will be analyzed with respect to m by z ratio so what are the advantages so first is you can see here the wide range of mo molecular weight polymers and like oligosaccharides oligonucleotides polypeptides all you can study analyze by using ionized by using maldi and it require few femtometer that is only 1 into 10 to the power minus 15 mole of sample so if you have a very very less amount of the sample you can ionize with the help of maldi the next is fab the full form is fast atom bombardment and again this is ionization method in mass spectroscopy and it is used full for the analysis of high molecular weight substances like peptides up to the weight of 10000 dalton you can study by using fab well if you compare with maldi maldi is uh, good for low molecular weight till high molecular weight both range you can study by using maldi fab is useful for high molecular weight substance and here again you need a few mg of the sample which is mixed in the few ml of the cholesterol which is acting as a matrix and then what happens here then the space is bombarded with the high or fast beam of xenon atoms uh, which is accelerated with the 9 to 10 electron volts so here we take the neutron atoms either xenon or argon atoms are used here to bombard the sample the sample molecules which are desorbed in the matrix will be ionized with the xenon atom which is having the high transitional energy and it will transfer this energy to the analyte and it will be ionized and then finally it is separated and travel towards a mass analyzer and analyzed so you can see here 
you have a probe tape on which you have a matrix in which analyte is dissolved or dispersed. A fast beam of xenon is bombarded here and the sample or analyte is then ionized and the ions are started traveling towards the mass spectrometer. So the same diagram here as we have studied in MALDI, only difference is there you were using the high intensity photon. Here we will be using the neutron atoms beam, either xenon or argon beam. So now advantage is basically it is used for the ionization of non-volatile like we have seen in MALDI and polar high molecular weight samples. It provides high heating or rapid heating of samples and reduces the sample fragmentation. And it provides good rapid ionization, so it is a fast technique. And it produces M plus H plus and M minus H minus ions are produced here in pairs, which facilitates the analysis of positive ion mass spectroscopy and negative ion mass spectroscopy. It is high sensitive and consume less sample. So these are some of the advantages of the FAB technique. There is another type of question they can ask like write briefly about FAB method of ionization and give its advantages over the other method of ionization. So you can take the key points uh, from here like we have studied MALDI and FAB, you can draw the diagram in an easy way. And I, I hope that uh, the topic is really helpful for you to write uh, the answer in your final paper for MSc Chemistry, especially the third semester. So see you in the upcoming video with more techniques and more, uh, uh, more problems related to MSc Chemistry. Till then, happy learning.